In this video, we will learn how to add a Desmos Interactive to our existing course. Once we are within our course, we select the drop down menu that says Add an Item and select Add Desmos Interactive. A new window will appear where we can input information for this Desmos Interactive. We will title our activity y equals mx plus b and give our activity a summary of slope. We then will create our first slide for practice. We then select the Add Desmos button and two options appear. We can create a new Desmos interactive directly in Ohm or import by a URL. We will first create a Desmos interactive in Ohm and will select the new option. An editable Desmos graph appears and we can build our Desmos graph here. Once we are finished, we can select the Add button and then select the Preview button to view our Desmos interactive. We will now go back to edit our interactive by creating a Desmos graph by importing an existing Desmos graph by the URL. We go into our interactive and select the Add button to add a new slide and we will title this slide Slope Import. We then will go to our existing Desmos graph created on the Desmos website and copy the URL. Take note of the folder that is labeled Origin that displays the origin on our graph in purple. We then go back to our Desmos Interactive and select the Add Desmos button and select Import by URL. A new window will appear and we paste our URL into the appropriate area and select Import. We can see our Desmos graph is now inserted into our interactive and we will press the Save button. We then will select the Preview button to see how our interactive will look to our students. We can see our interactive has been inserted into our second slide. We will now go back and edit our interactive on slide 2. We select the Edit Desmos Graph button and notice the origin folder in the interactive. We have the ability to hide this folder from students by selecting that box. This gives us the ability to place part of the Desmos Graph that is unnecessary for this student to see in the sidebar. This will declutter the Desmos Graph for the student allowing them to focus on the parts of the activity that they will be interacting with. You will notice that some of the pre-made interactives in Lumen Ohm will have folders that are hidden from the student. We will select the Add button and save our Desmos interactive. We will then select the Preview button and view the activity on slide 2. We can see that the Origin folder is now hidden from view but its contents are still creating the purple dot on the origin. We now know how to add a Desmos Interactive to an existing course using Lumen Ohm.